Welcome to today's show. Today we're down in the basement again. Working on it. It's snowing like crazy. It's the spring storm of 2022. If you've been following my channel, you know that I made this bag last year, year before. It's just elk. It's just it's really soft, really nice. But there's a few improvements I thought I could make on her. So let's look at my newest project here. Okay, here it is. About 20 square feet of Laredo Crazy Horse. Hide from Tandy. It's a three to four ounce. It's olive in color. See all the stretch, you know, all the pull marks and stuff. It has the brand right in here. So you can see already I've cut my, marked out my pieces. My main pieces. Now I'm going to cut this end straight for the strap. I always cut the long pieces first. We're going to try to do it like the other bag. So let's get started. Okay, you know the first, the first rule of leather making: new project, new blade. Sure, that's completely. That uh, probably is. I'm just gonna double it up, but we'll see how that works. Okay, that's your strap. Alright, what we're using here is duffel bag lining, Some sort of polyester lining. Doesn't look the nicest, I know it's black, but it, you need it to give that bag some structure. And I have some cotton lining, but I think the cotton would wear out way before the leather would, and then you just have to do it again. So I'm going to do it in this lining, I'll show you my other duffel bag here. It's just black, but it's okay. You know, maybe you want to put in a lining after this that you can replace. But you, you find this gives it a little weight, a little structure. Yeah, we're just cutting out a little big for now. That's okay. We're going to condition these pieces. Let them dry overnight. Okay, we have all the piece, main pieces cut out now on the side. Through the straps, it's still wet there from the conditioner. You can see the straps, any visible edge I dyed. The straps here, that's so when the handles pull, they're pulling on the whole thing, not just this little spot here. Now the end pieces, and that's the same down there. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and fasten these pieces down here. I'm going to hand stitch every stitch that you see. The other stitches I'm going to do with my machine. So part one here. Part one here we have the pieces all cut out. What we're going to put these in. Next. 
Okay. We're at five inches. Okay, here, here we are. Put that around. Okay, so I've glued the straps on both ends, but on one side, I have to leave a space here. You're gonna put a strap here for your luggage. So. Okay, we're gonna punch these in. Remember to stop here, that's why those chalk marks are there. There you can see how it's all stitched. We're gonna stitch all that now. The handle goes over top. Here we are, just stitching away. Okay, here we are sewing in this strap. The strap is for your luggage handle. So your luggage will, you know, if you need to use your handle for your rolling suitcase, it will slide right in there. So I stitched all around. And then right here, I put it in and uh, punched the holes. We're also gonna put a rivet here. Just doing it here on the table so I can, sh it's easier to show you the, the big picture. Okay, there it is. We'll sew it in. We're going to put a rivet here and here later. Okay, we've got them both <laughs> finished now. Put those little, now we have to put the handle, now we have to put the handles on. Okay, here we are and gonna sew in the handles. Count it six holes down. If you're thinking ahead, you don't have to sew these, but a little extra sewing won't hurt. And I come back one, pull it through. Pull it tight. Here, I'm just tying the knots back here because we're going to be lining it anyway and no one's going to see that. what that looks like. There, that turned out good. That'll look really cool with a rivet in there. Okay, here we go. That turned out okay. Just gonna pull the whole bag. I don't know if it'd be strong enough right in there, so now it pulls this whole length. I'll do the other side. Okay, we're gonna punch these holes. I set this for three quarters, so that's half. The other side. Okay, let's put those rivets in. Should we have a good base here? Okay, 
Hey, there it is. Let's zoom out of the... Okay. That looks good. There's the handles. There's... So wherever I have a joint, I like to have two stitching and a rivet. That is super funky. Now I have to measure for the overlap on the bottom. Okay, there we have our line. Put another one over top of it. And glue her down. So we're gonna glue down this line. Remember this glue is only good temporarily because it won't stick to the wax. There, while well, that was gluing, so we tab on each end of this. I just use my sewing machine because it's all going to be covered up anyway. That just makes it, if there's any gaps in your zipper, just finishes it off better. Okay, it's time to put the mark on here, putting your maker mark on. I just heat this up at least 75. Remember there's a notch where the bottom is. And you put it on. Okay, now you have to punch the hole for the feet too. They're seven and a half inches, seven inches apart. All right, here it is. Stitch it all together. Now we're really ready to put the lining in. Alright, that completes the main bag, main body, so we'll call that part one, all done. So if you like today's show, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment that will help others.